In this lesson, you'll see that TWS charting offers a tremendous array of capabilities. We'll provide you with just a taste to help you get started. We'll show you how to adjust timeframes and chart types, see chart parameters that can be easily adjusted, explore some useful shortcuts to get you started. Now let's take a look at the Mosaic chart window. On the broadest level, this panel enables you to see a visual track of financial asset prices at a glance. Just click on any ticker symbol in a watch list to populate a chart. Now let's enlarge the chart by clicking the Maximize icon. Some things you can do here include altering the time frame of the chart to view intraday, daily, weekly and monthly periods. Let's alter the candle size of this chart to hourly. Alternatively, we could adjust the time period. Use the expansion arrows to the right to break a time period into desired time frames. Click to select one. You may also want to change the display from bar type to candle type. To do this, click the Edit drop-down menu and select Chart Parameters. As this is the nerve center for chart configuration, this is where you can access most functions to drive charts. You'll likely want to remember how to access it. You'll also see a series of tabs along the top. Using the Chart Parameters tab and section below, access the Bar Type drop-down menu to choose from Bars, Candles and Heiken Ashi. The Additional Data and Features area enables you to add various details to the display, either directly or as subplots below the chart. Let's see what happens when we add volume. Make sure you click Apply to add to the display. The Studies tab contains groups of common studies, averages and oscillators that may be added to your chart. Expand a group by clicking the plus symbol or type directly into the search box. Highlight a particular study, for instance under Momentum, select Relative Strength Index and click the Add button. To the right you can tailor the inputs as required. Click Apply at the bottom when done. Now let's take a look at other tabs and what they're used for. The Secondary Series tab, for example, allows you to display additional symbols to a chart. The Index Comparisons tab allows you to select from a list of common global benchmarks to add to the chart. Let's select SPX and view the chart. Now, if you access a different instrument from the Monitor panel, you'll see the chart information and studies adjust. This occurs because the monitor and the chart are linked together. The View drop-down menu provides shortcuts to a series of configurable display settings such as Chart Legend, Quote and Bar Detail Zone as well as the Toolbar. The Toolbar is also configurable and you may select additional icons from within Chart Configuration. You've now completed the Traders Academy TWS for Beginners Lesson 5. Look out for more lessons from this course by selecting the Education menu on the IBKR homepage and choosing Traders Academy. For a deeper dive into TWS charts, refer to the Introduction to Charts course from Traders Academy.